Morning everybody. So today we are starting a pretty uh, fun uh, mini series of a friend of mine, Abraham, about his kind of how we got connected in, in a, basically the mission statement and what he's trying to accomplish with his clothing brand, which wasn't intentionally trying to be a clothing brand at first. He's really trying to help people and tell his story about some of the struggles he had in his life. So we're here at the podcast studio. We're going to do some work here. Uh, I'm going to go back to Green Guard. got to get my morning apparel meeting done. That's going to be a little bit later than normal. Get to the heartbeat of everything that's going on there. Um, head down to Miramar, Hardcore Fitness, which we'll go to. Um, and then I was going to go to Temecula. That changed early this morning. So now I'm going to, then we're going to go to San Marcos, Hardcore Fitness, and make sure internet install and all that goes well. And then uh, to Vista Hardcore. So it's going to be a busy day. Let's mm -hmm. get it. <laughs> Sweet. Miramar, here we come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we've talked about this before, but I like to reiterate it because I think it's something that um, it's a core foundation for people that really make them trapped in a specific environment. Um, let me get this real quick. Hello, is Nathan? <laughs> Sales call. Um, <laughs> so people talk about limiting beliefs, right? So limiting beliefs to me, and I think to most people. Is the basis of you know what your ceiling is, right? And your ceiling is probably not as high as you necessarily want it, but your belief is that you can't be any better, you can't buy a nicer home, you can't be stronger. You know, there's beliefs in in, in your the ceiling in which you can perform, right, or live. And I'll, I think a lot of those limiting beliefs are predicated on uh, past experiences, the way you were raised, right? Um, because of either your parents or, or the you know the uh, sum of the top five people that you surround yourself with as everybody's heard right you hang around a bunch of people that don't make a lot of money you're inevitably probably not going to be the guy that makes a lot of money you're going to hang around a bunch of people that are negative and say how much your boss sucks and say that you know the presidency sucks or say whatever the, the excuse people want to make these days you're going to you're going to have that mindset no matter if you don't want to or not because you're just around that type of culture right mm -hmm. so I think that the, the biggest thing to get out of the limiting belief that you have these limitations associated with whatever aspect in your life, financially, personally, um, professionally, uh, since they all relate, would be one, surround yourself out around the right people. I think it's absolutely critical that you understand that and that you make those tough decisions. People, I think, have a hard time with that, right? Because um, they, they think they have to always be around people that are better than them, that make more money than them, and the reality is, is that's not true. I mean, a lot of people I hang out with don't make anywhere close to the money I make, and that to me doesn't matter. Now, I do I go and, and like I was, I've mentioned in my previous uh, messages, I'm part of a group called Vistage. People are far more successful than me in a group like that, right? So I'm not um, opposed to be. You still want that in your world, but it doesn't have to be the, your sole existence to hang out with people that make more money or more successful. In fact, a lot of people I hang out with are just simply happier, um, and frankly, a lot of them are ones that don't make a lot of money, right? Because sometimes those don't go hand in hand. So. Uh, for people out there that want to listen to a message about limiting beliefs, surround yourself around the right people. Tell a friend that you've known for 10 years, hey, listen, I'm not, this is, you know, just stop talking to him as much. Tell him I, I can't deal with the, the negativity. You gotta fucking clean your shit up or I'm not, I'm not overly interested in continuing to hang out with you. Tough conversation. Uh, most people would, would go the easier way out of just simply not contacting them. But make a concerted effort to try to be around people that are more positive, right? Mm -hmm. that, that have similar goals and ambitions that you have. I promise you the second you start doing that, you're gonna realize like, holy shit, look at how much things are changing for me because you're just around that, you're more motivated, um, you have a stronger drive all of a sudden, you probably have more accountability, and it's, uh, I think it's really important for people to understand that. One of the things I wanted to talk about, and I'll try to be as positive as I can about this because sometimes I get on a little bit of a bitching rant, but um, I get really tired of people talking about how they want stuff so bad. I have a couple people in particular say, I wanna work for your credit card company, or I wanna work for this, or I wanna, I wanna you know, own a house here, or I wanna do whatever, A, B, and C, and then every single time I talk to him, it's the same bullshit. I go, Why? what have you done about it? Well, oh, I've been busy this, or I've been busy that. I don't, want, I don't wanna fucking hear it. You know, some, you think Will Smith or Wayne Johnson, the, the Rock, don't doesn't have busy schedules? You think someone like me that has seven businesses doesn't have a busy schedule? You prioritize it, and, and you just have ridiculous, unwavering, disgusting work ethic. And you know, some of those words have been stolen from Will 
Smith, but there's the, the stuff I've used many times too, right? Like this unwavering mentality of, I don't care how fucking busy I am. I'm going to get a workout in today. I don't care how busy I am. I am going to make sure I get X, X Y, and Z done because that's towards my goals. It's important. And for people that I know that are not nearly as busy or don't have those like required obligations, they just want to live that like more balanced lifestyle, fine. But then don't complain about the fact that you don't have all this other stuff. You make the decision, right? And and so people that, you know, people in my position and a lot of other people that have this disgusting work ethic that just will not be outworked have a hard time understanding when other people want, you know, to, to be successful. I mean, it, especially because I try to be really positive about everything, right? But then the second you hear from that person the third, fourth, fifth time over six months that, that nothing's happened, it's like, stop talking. It does, does nothing for you. In fact, it's probably making it worse because now you're internalizing the fact that you continuously fail without saying you're failing, mm. right? You're saying, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, start the side job. I'm gonna become, you know, a trainer. I'm gonna become a, a real good salesperson. I have one guy out in Temecula that's a friend of mine that keeps saying that to me, and it's like, okay, so then do it. Stop fucking talking about it. Like, I don't understand what you're waiting for, right? And so that's just, you know, that's the old cliche, actions speak louder than words, right? It's great to have that intention, but execution is everything. And you've heard that a million times, but but stop. And then if you continue to talk about it, then all in your, in your mind, you're like, well, I've said it for the last two years. And then you start believing the fact that you can't do it because you haven't done it in two years. So now, now it becomes this habitual, like I've just, I've never lost weight for 20 years. So how am I going to do it? I've, ne- I've always wanted to own my own business, but I've talked about it for 20 years. I've never found the time to do it. Now your mindset's changed because I can't do it because I've thought about it so many times versus just fucking executing, hmm. right? Um, even if you execute and fail, at least you tried, right? And then, then you get rid of those potential what ifs. So if you're gonna, so for people out there like that, I know that's maybe a harsh reality, but, but I'm trying to, I promise you, <laughs> the undertone here is to be positive and realize that just, just to execute and not screw around when you're talking about wanting to do something, right? So hopefully that helps. Hmm. Here we're gonna go hardcore, talk to Don and Krista and Victor, the three owners, and, uh, See what we can do to help them with a few items. They're already kicking ass, but this is just like anything you can make businesses more efficient. So that's mm-hmm. my role. So that's what we're gonna do. Got some plates here. The wall ball targets with hardcore fitness logo on them. So now we're at Hardcore Fitness San Marcos. I'm gonna go work on some internet things, um, see how the construction's going, and talk some shit. So let's have some fun.